I grew up in a small town in Saudi Arabia, and the way I connected with the world is through films. Exhibition in public was illegal, or making film in Saudi wasn't allowed. It was like uh, we had a lot of video stores, and I watch a lot of cinema through that and made me understand what it means to enjoy a movie and be part of a, a bigger world than my small town. Yalla, عارفه شو تقولين؟ إيه. السلام عليكم. أنا مريم بنت عبد العزيز الصفان. فخور بإعلاني إنه تم ترشيح المجلس البلدي بقريتنا. التغيير كلمة كبيرة. والانتخابات هي الطريقة الوحيدة اللي نقدر نعرف فيها إن المجلس بصفنا. وأوعدكم إذا تم انتخابي إني راح أهتم وأعبد الطريقة المؤدية لعيادتنا المحلية. هالمشروع الذي لطالما حلمت بتحقيقه. والقضية التي لن أتنازل عنها أبدا. صوتوا لي أنا الدكتورة مريم الصفان. وساعدونا عشان نحسن ونطور بلدتنا الجميلة. We were in Berlin Film Festival, and I was writing Wajda at the time, my first film, my first feature film. And, um, and the way we wrote, I wrote the film is very much ideological. The first draft, this is about this young girl who is like being oppressed by the system and the society, and she's innocent and beautiful. And, and then I went and I watched a film with a similar protagonist who was only a victim, she was so beautiful, so cute, and so... But the film was not fulfilling at all. And I was, for me, as was, that is my film. <laughs> and it was an eye-opening, and that is, you need to make the protagonist have life and sassy and a fighter, because that is what I missed. And I went back and just like, change everything in the script, and hence that character went down. So I think that was one movie experience that really changed how I look at my characters, my leading characters, and how to position them and how to create their destiny and journeys. And, and uh, watching great films is amazing and very like fulfilling, but also watching films that are not good, <laughs> you learn from, so yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of my influences came from where I come, the place I lived in. Like when I make movies, it's always about, um, I, I'm like growing in that small town that is like very absurd with all those religious ideologies and, and so women dress all the same and men dress all the same and, and it is very segregated and, and it is such a surreal place and it's almost like science fiction. <laughs> it's almost like this utopian kind of movie. So I, a lot of my inspiration came in that environment and that that world, but um, and I, and, it's, and while growing up, like um, being exposed to to art is not easy in, in Saudi Arabia. Like we didn't have, like uh, art wasn't allowed in the public space, so there wasn't weren't any galleries or or movie theaters or theaters for performers or, or something that you can go and like see and understand. So influences on that level I lacked. But I, I, I enjoyed a lot of Indian, Bollywood, <laughs> American and Chinese main cinema and, and, and that made me understand what it means to entertain. Because it's just like I was so bored and watching a movie just like uplifting. And as if you went somewhere and totally different after the movie's over, you have this feeling of happiness. And so I think, yeah a lot of my influences when it comes to how I relate to film is coming from mainstream impact. And uh, uh, later on in life, I started watching more of like art house and more independent. And I, I love the Dardenne brothers. They're from Belgium. And Rosetta is another film that really stuck with me because of the way they built their character and how she was so resilient and so full of life. And I just fell in love with Rosetta. And every time I write, I remember her eyes and how piercing and her, like the passion coming from them. So um, I love the Dardenne brothers a lot. The Cohen brothers too, they're very smart. Their dialogue, uh, brothers, every brother is <laughs> like, but like their, their dialogue is very smart. I wish I could like 
learn how to be witty and just like. I make movies now because I love. I, I'm a filmmaker full time, so that is my, my my source of income. But also, I make movies like. But mainly, I make movies because it gave me a sense of who I am. It gave me an existence. It gave me a voice. And when I grow up in a place like where I grew up. You always feel, as a woman, you are invisible and voiceless. And it is such a, such a difficult place to be as a human being that you feel you don't matter or you don't exist and you're just like nothing. And, and film gave me that contribution that I have a voice and I have an opinion and I can share it with the world. So in that way, that is, that is the main, that's how I stuck with film. And even when I was making shorts and documentaries and there's, no way to make any money out of it and it just like it became my my thing and and i stuck with it until i was able to 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 work and and enjoy what i'm doing and it is it is such a i'm very grateful for that i'm very grateful to be at that state i want them to to fall in love with the characters and and sympathize with them, but also be entertained and go to a place that is, if, if it's a film from Saudi Arabia, go to a place and understand the people there. It is like, my films are very much about people who don't matter, like coming from small towns and not very rich or anything. And just like, but they have dreams and they have passions. And for me, it is just like creating this connection with other people who are totally different from us, but they are very similar again. Like there is, there is like, um, there is a universality in our journeys and uh, like human beings everywhere we are. And I think it is very important to emphasize that. Hopefully when we, we create sympathy and empathy for each other and, and through art, maybe we can be friends and not fight and don't have wars and stuff because we understand each other more. I think I enjoy production. Production is very chaotic, and there is a lot of people, and you talk about the, but it is the actual place where you make the film. And, and for me, I really enjoy working with actors, and that is my passion as a director. So, like, shaping the performance and getting to, to work on every scene and, and building it and taking it from the paper to, to reality. And a lot of times, like, with working with amazing people, you, things it, get elevated. Like the production design, you never thought like this is how the theater would look or this is how the room will look. And they just like the production designer bring you like take you to a whole different level. And it is to go into that space and see things are actually happening is very exciting. Uh, I enjoy post-production, but I scare, I'm so scared of getting in, in a dark room where I see every mistake I've, done, I've made, like every shot I haven't taken and I really need now. It is always like, so it's very daunting to be in the, in the editing room. Uh, yeah, so production is my favorite. To be true to yourself and your story and to, be, to stick with it. It is hard. There will be a lot of mm, rejection. Like it is, it is not easy to... to to break into an industry, to break into, especially as a newcomer. But it is such rewarding when you keep working at it and, and also keep on learning. Like a lot of young people are so passionate about their stories and they're very militant and they're just like, no, <laughs> like that is my story and that is the way I want to tell it. But it is really, filmmaking is very collaborative and have a lot of people taking someone else's input and incorporating it and building off it is the key to be successful as a filmmaker. And that is, a filmmaker is not, is the master of bringing everybody's vision and melting it together to be your own. And, and being able to do that is, that is the best as a filmmaker. So stick with it, work hard, don't take no for an answer. I think it is very important to like to be to show films in universities and younger audience and and especially art house films because we always blame young people that they are they don't see like they go to Marvels and they go all the superhero films and but and I think universities is a great place to shape their taste and give them what it means to make a film and also bringing a lot of uh, filmmakers who who have maybe a very similar journey to those, uh, to those students. And it gives them hope to see someone like me, like if a Saudi girl <laughs> could make it in the world, that means every one of them who, ha who is 
and, and a way better, who got a way better education and way more access to things can also make films. And I think it is very important. <laughs>